Moses. Um, I'm Teresa Velasquez. This is Moses Sapien, and he's a councilman here in the city of Stockton. And I'm going to be interviewing him today on economic development. Um, Moses, I have some questions for you. It's a pleasure to be with you, Teresa. Thank you. Um, when you think of economic development, you think of creating jobs, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And I have a few questions for you here. Um, the first one being, what are the demographics of the workforce? So there are a variety of industries located in Stockton. Our largest industry is transportation. Mm -hmm. Second largest industry is health services and educational services. Our third largest is tourism and leisure. And our fourth largest industry is manufacturing. Okay. And the second question is, is the education of the existing workforce in Stockton enough to entice a company to come to Stockton? Well, it really depends on the type of business that we're looking to entice to come to Stockton. For example, if we're looking to entice a business that is a transportation business or industry, I believe that we do have a very strong workforce that would be attractive to that kind of employer. However, if we look towards attracting, say, a high-tech business, uh, that becomes a little bit more challenging. We need to develop our workforce uh, to improve the educational level. Currently, there are about 23% of Stocktonians who have a BA or higher degree, and that presents a challenge if we're trying to attract high-tech businesses that require a graduate or undergraduate degrees. Okay. And, and the third question, mm -hmm. What areas in Stockton would be suitable for development? So there are a variety of areas in Stockton suitable for development. If we're looking to develop manufacturing and industrial businesses, there are areas around the airport and at the Port of Stockton that would be ideal for that. If we're looking to develop, say, professional service businesses, there are a variety of areas in the downtown that would be ideal for that. And um, the fourth question, if someone wants to put a building, where could he put it? What area? Well, it really depends on the type of building someone wants to construct. Uh, if, as I mentioned previously, if it's a business that is aimed at manufacturing or industrial, there are areas around the airport that would be ideal for constructing those types of businesses. If it's an area that provides just professional services, then generally any commercial area within the city of Stockton would allow for that. And if someone wants to build a building, it has to be in sync with the general plan. The city of Stockton has a general plan that allows for zoning of particular types of businesses. So depending on the zoning of an area, that really depends on the kind of business that they can construct, or the type of building that they can construct. Okay. And then the fifth question, what kind of business should we bring to Stockton, for example, software, hardware companies, manufacturing companies, insurance companies, law firms? Generally speaking, we need to bring in businesses that provide good paying jobs. Mm -hmm. That's number one. So whether it be manufacturing, whether it be utilities, uh, whether it be health, and human services or educational professionals, uh, any of those types of businesses that pay well, we need to attract. Mm -hmm. okay. And then uh, the sixth uh, question, what kind of tax incentives do you think the city of Stockton should offer prospective companies to move to Stockton? For example, no property taxes, reduced city taxes, waive planning department fees. What incentives would you recommend Stockton offer to prospective employers on companies? So our economic development department has a variety of strategies on how to incentivize businesses to relocate and to expand. Mm -hmm. One of those is the microloan program. The business is able to take out a loan through the program that we provide through the city at a very competitive rate in order to expand their business, invest in it, and buy much needed equipment. We also have a facade improvement program, so if a business is looking to improve the exterior of their building, we're able to facilitate that, and after a certain amount of time, if they promise to keep it and maintain it graffiti-free, then we actually forgive that loan. 
And there are areas around the city that provide further incentives. For example, if a business is looking to relocate downtown, the permits and planning department in the city of Stockton works with those types of businesses one-on-one -on -one and can really accommodate their needs and be able to facilitate job creation and business growth in those areas. Okay. Okay, and then what incentives would you recommend Stockton offer to prospective companies on companies? Hi, my name is Teresa Velasquez and I'm here with Gabby Brown and um, I have some questions for Gabby um, regarding jobs. Um, my question is, what companies should we bring here to Stockton to create jobs like the software and hardware companies, like manufacturing companies, law firms, insurance companies? Um, what do you think we should bring here in Stockton? Uh, I think that we should have uh, maybe more software companies, but there aren't that many in Stockton. Again, Gabby, and um, we're doing an interview here in the uh, city of Stockton uh, on jobs. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Teresa Velasquez, and I'm here with William Pickman, and um, I have some questions for him regarding jobs here in Stockton. Um, William, what company? Should we bring to Stockton to create jobs here? Uh, for example, software and hardware companies, manufacturing companies, insurance companies, or maybe more law firms. What do you think, William? I am one who was told many years ago as a teenager, and of course now I'm almost 70, we should not limit ourselves. And that's to say, I would like to see as many companies and businesses come to Stockton as possible, especially in the world of the financial situation of Stockton and the city bonds were bankrupt last year. The more businesses, more companies get to come to Stockton means more jobs and more employment for people of Stockton, which could only benefit the city financially.